Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Neon. Coming to another banger video. Today, I'm showing you guys how to get NBA 2K23 early. So, pretty much all I'm going to do is a show on Xbox and PlayStation. I'm going to show Xbox first because the Xbox clip is mine and the PlayStation one is unfortunately not mine. So, without any further ado, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button because we're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers. So, I'm in the main menu and what you want to do is you can either go to My Games and Apps or if you have settings in the front row, you you just want to click on settings so after you click on settings on your main account you want to go to you want to go down and click language and location after you pick on language and location you want to go to language or you want to go to location first and you want to make sure that's on new zealand because new zealand gets the games earlier and for your language you can this is optional you can go english slash new zealand and you just want to then you want to research your xbox so it can switch so that's pretty much it so what i just showed was how to play nba 2k23 early on xbox i will be doing a playstation method in a little bit but i want to talk about um about the xbox version why this works is because um New Zealand gets NBA 2K23 a day earlier, so if you switch your day or time and location to New Zealand, you will be able to play NBA 2K23 early. So if you want to play the game early, I highly do recommend watching that. And the PlayStation method will be coming right very soon, so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and let's get right into the PlayStation version. So you're gonna actually have to create a brand new account by going over here and hitting get started and create a new account, all that stuff, right? Now, the downside to doing this on PlayStation is if you plan on buying the $100 version or the $150 version, getting all those extras, like the extra MT, the, to the tokens, you know, the VC and all that, you're not gonna be able to transfer that over to your main account. So I personally wouldn't even do this on PlayStation. That's just me. But if you can't wait, just buy the $60 version. So basically, you can do the game share and all that stuff after I explain here in a little bit. But basically, you're going to create a new account. So I'm going to create a new account right now. To create a new account, it's very simple. You're going to go over here to add user. You're going to hit get started. And then you're going to hit agree, confirm. And you want to head down to create an account. All right, once you get into here, you're gonna set up a new email, date of birth. So I'm just gonna put a random date of birth. All right, just go like something random, maybe older than that. All right, you're gonna hit next and you're actually gonna change your region to New Zealand. All right, now guys, again, like I mentioned earlier, there's a brand new account and if anything that you order, it's you can't transfer it to your main account. All right, so. You're gonna hit language to preferred language, English, United Kingdom. What is this? Okay, wait, can we change this? I think we should be good. You can't change this. I think we're good with this, honestly. Hit next, all right? Then you're gonna sign in, all right? So I'm gonna sign in. All right, there you go. I have the e You're gonna put your first name. I'm just gonna put Dre Dre, all right? You can put whatever name you want. It's, it's basically like a fake account. <laughs> all right, hit done. And then you're gonna hit next. I don't want to receive emails or anything like that. You're going to put your city. Uh, let me, I'll be, hold on a second. I got to check. <laughs> I got to check the postal code and, and all that. All right, we're back. I had to do some research, but you're going to change your city to Auckland, your state or province to Auckland, your postal code to 0600. You're going to hit next. All right. I'm not sure if that, that should work. All right. Just pick a random character. All right. We're going to hit next and uh, online ID. I'm just going to do something random and okay you want to just hit next okay there you go and social and open we're gonna hit apply confirm and continue confirm and continue agree and that's all you have to do next you want to head over to the store all right um actually you know what we'll do this one later is there a way we can do this later Oh, okay. All right. Well, let me verify my email. All right. So we just verify the email. We're going to hit OK. And um, let's please wait. Do this later. And New Zealand number. I'm going to do this later. All right. We're going to hit OK. And that should be it. After this, you want to set up game share. So basically what you want to do is you will now want to go to the store. And now you're ready to, you know, you know, order the game and play the game early. So 
we're gonna go over to browse and we're gonna hit uh search up nba 2k23 and there you go there you go pricing is a little different uh new zealand currency is a little different you're still paying the same amount so if you're paying with dollars it's the currency is different you're not paying anything extra all right guys so basically you're gonna order the game and you can only play the game on this account but what you can do is you can actually do set up game share to do that i'll show you guys here in a second but again guys once you hit purchase it's gonna give you uh you're gonna hit accept you can play this game you see playable day nine eight at 5 a.m so once you see 5 a.m on the 8th you'll be able to play the game which means you're gonna play the game before anyone here in the states so as you can tell right there zoom in right there there it is 9 8 5 a.m order and pay now if you order the game like i mentioned earlier all of the extras that you get you can't transfer to your main account now what you want to do guys is if you buy the game early on uh this new account you're gonna head over to your settings and you're gonna go over to game share to set that up all right i figured out how to do it. you're gonna go to your settings head over to user and accounts and on the new account that you created you're gonna go over to other console sharing and offline play and it says console sharing and offline play is enabled so make sure it is enabled all right so if you hit don't disable if you hit disable or if it's on disabled you're gonna make sure it's enabled so we're gonna go back again and i'm gonna show you guys how to do that you're gonna sign into this new account and that way when the game does come out you can play the game on your main account but again everything that you ordered won't be on there it will be on this new account you're gonna go to console share you're gonna hit enable so make sure it's enabled that way when you sign into your main account you can play the game when the game officially releases but want to know how i got dripped out like that i hit the subscribe button you know why none of you guys have that because this little people amount of you guys are actually subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe